A great move made by the Modi government a couple of days back on 8th June 2020 by proposing the decriminalization of certain offenses for improving business sentiment and unclogging court processes. The stakeholders have been invited to propose and submit their comments and suggestions uh, you know, within 15 days, which is by 23rd uh, June 2020, regarding the decriminalization of a particular statute uh, itself or, or you know, uh, any, any particular provision in a statute, along with, uh, you know, a set of rationale uh, for the same. Let me give you an insight into the said proposal of the government of India on the other side of the clip. See you. Please subscribe to this YouTube channel Mentor Talk and do press the bell button for notifications. According to the government of India, decriminalizing of minor offenses is one of its focus areas. The risk of imprisonment for actions or omissions that are necessarily, uh, you know, not fraudulent or outcome of malafide intent is a big barrier and impediment in attracting investments. The resultant ambiguity in legal processes and the time taken for resolution in the courts of, of, of disputes harms, uh, you know, ease of doing business. Criminal penalties, including imprisonment for minor offenses, uh, you know, uh, disincentivize business sentiments and obstruct investments, both from domestic and for, uh, foreign investors. This, according to the government, has become even more significant post-COVID-19 response strategy to help revive the economic growth and improving the, you know, justice delivery system. In view of the nature of pendency in all segments of the courts, as well as the huge, you know, backlog delay in, in, in adjudication of legal cases, legislative measures are in the process of taking shape to help resolve trust in doing business as indicated by the government. Thus, in this pursuit, the government considers it important that a balance is found so that malafide intent is punished while other less serious offenses are compounded. Consequently, a framework is contemplated where a penalty is levied, levied beg your pardon, which is sufficient to act as a deterrent. The government believes that action taken for the decriminalization of certain offenses can go a long way you know, in improving ease of doing business and helping unclog the court system and even the, uh, uh, you know, uh, prisons for that matter. The government has identified the following principles for reclassifying the criminal offenses to compoundable offenses. First, decrease the burden on businesses and inspire confidence amongst investors. Two, focus on economic growth, public interest and national security, which should remain of paramount importance. Three, menseria, which is malafide criminal intent, plays an important role in the imposition of criminal liability. Therefore, it is critical to evaluate the nature of non-compliance. That is fraud as compared to negligence or inadvertent omissions. And finally, the habitual nature of non-compliance non-compliances undoubtedly as this exercise is likely to have a large scale impact across society the government of india is doing uh, a stakeholder consultation exercise which i mentioned in the beginning hence to have overall consensus the department of financial services of the ministry of finance which administers the acts and statutes as shown in the images in front of you uh, invites the comments of state governments, uh, UT administrations, civil society, non-governmental organizations, academicians, public and private sector organizations, uh, you know, multilateral institutions and members of the public to submit their suggestions to the department. The government's said communication dated 8th June 2020, you know, running into 18 pages 
uh, is publicly available on several websites. I mean, you may just Google search and you will be able to lay hands on that communication. The said communication lists out, you know, relevant acts administered by the department and their specific sections containing criminal provisions with an adjacent column table to add your suggestions, comments and, and rationale. So overall, you know, a great move by the Modi government and I request all the viewers to overwhelmingly send in, you know, uh, your comments and suggestions in order to support this highly called for progressive measure. See you again next time with a new video.